Now that we have created our document and we have applied different styles to both the text and the images and applied and inserted various different components in the document, now there might be a need on using the page layout. And the page layout basically allows you to format the document, to change the margins, to change anything related to the layout of whether it is the document or the paragraphs within the document. So in this case, we click on page layout here and then go under margins and you can either pick predefined margins. In this case, it is selected one inch on all sides, but you can make them narrow if you prefer or whatever format that you prefer. In this case, you can also go under custom margins and then choose the type of margins that you want to specify you can also choose the paper and also the layout for that particular document. Now those changes and those margins, and this is by the way where the orientation is to change the orientation from this screen. You can apply them to the whole document or from a specific point forward in the document. So that is important in some cases where you need to modify a page, let's say three and on to be in a specific format, but not the previous part of the document. Notice that the option here for set as default that allows you to change the margins. So they are the default for any new documents that you create in the future. So once you pick and make those changes then click OK, and then the changes will be applied to the document. The other thing here under the page layout is that you can change the orientation from a portrait to landscape and so on. Notice. That's landscape. And then we'll switch it back to portrait like that. Then under the size, this is where you define the paper size. For example, here in the US, we use eight and a half by 11, but then depending on what country you are, particularly in Europe where they use the legal size or else, or whatever the need might be, this is where you change the paper size, one of the places to change it. The other thing is that you can define columns. So for example, let's say, we are here and let's say for this text here, we want to post it in columns. So there are a couple ways of doing columns. You can either select the text first and then go under columns and then just choose however many columns you want. It will apply it to only the text within that area. The other way to do it is that you can click wherever you want to start your columns, click on columns then choose more columns and then choose how many you want, the width between them, whether you want a line between them or not. And then over here where it says apply to, choose instead of this section, you can choose this point forward or the whole document. Whole document, of course, is gonna do it from pages prior to the spot where we clicked last. And the most common use is to use the this point forward feature. And then at this point, we click OK. And notice the rest of the document here is in columns. And the part before that, it is not in columns. It's basically the way we had it before. In some cases, if you're quoting for college papers and so on, if you are quoting a text of 40 words or more, you need to indent it one inch from both sides. So here's how you do that. Basically, you just go from the left here, one, and from the right, one, and that's it. So that's how you indent the whole section. Of course, in some cases, it might be helpful as well to right click, choose paragraph, and then format it from here. Like for example, from the left, how much here, and from the right, so from the left, one inch, from the right, one inch. For the sake of demonstrating, I'll make it 0.5 inches because we have it already one inch and you can make change the line spacing from here click OK and now it has been applied or changed so uh, these are a couple of things regarding the page layout hopefully it makes sense uh, basically it's changing the margins changing the orientation the size and remember how to change the columns 
you can also insert page breaks too and this we covered it under the insert area as well before but basically you can customize or enter here various types of page breaks as well <music>